how will you use technology 10 years from now? Well, the Research at Intel event in San Francisco on Tuesday offered a glimpse. If there's a trend at this event, it's that the technologies that we use in the future will collect more information about us at home, at work, and in our cars. Anyone who's driven in a thunderstorm knows it can be miserable. Smart headlights would create greater visibility by shining light between raindrops. A high-speed camera and processor work together to predict the raindrop's path. The light is switched off in those locations. You've got rain falling down and you've got lights going through it, but really what it's doing, it's allowing you to look through the reflection of rain. For the snap happy among us, interactive surfaces combine projectors and a Microsoft Connect to turn any surface into a touch screen. Your living room is now a life-size photo album. Too big? Beam your favorites to the FanFold, a modern-day photo frame. And finally, that jumble of keys you lug around may soon be obsolete. Facial, voice, and gesture recognition, along with biometric scans, could verify your identity and unlock your front door or car. Of course, that may make some people nervous. We need to keep that secure. We need to have control over our information. Data by itself is meaningless. Data only means something when it comes back to us, and it makes our lives better. Future gazing is usually a fun exercise. The harder part is waiting to see if the technology actually materializes. In San Francisco, I'm Sumi Das, CNET.com for CBS News.